Hey guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. We're back here at Dick Norris Buick GMC. And guess what? We have more new 2021 Yukons. This particular one is a Yukon XL. So we're talking about extra long and it's the SLT trim. And on top of that, one of my favorite colors for a Yukon, satin steel. But before we dive into this redesigned massive SUV, let's talk about what's going on here. So GMC really taking the bull by the horns and just like their sister brand Chevrolet they have finally redesigned the Yukon now across all the different trims you're getting all new exterior and interior bits and that really is the biggest news because out back you go way back way way back on this XL you have all new independent rear suspension so that's going to give you a better riding Yukon but it's also gonna give you more interior space. And yes, on the outside, the Yukon has grown a little bit. It's a little bit longer, a little bit wider, but you know what? You're gonna get that maximum space. So let's go ahead, let's dive into this Yukon XL SLT trim and see really, is it the super size SUV that you should be parking in your driveway? Because I don't know if this will fit in your garage. Let's check it out. Satin steel, metallic, I love the color. You can see the redesign on the headlights. We got the headlights on, full LED headlight, daytime running lamp. I love the way on the interior, they blacked everything out, looking really sharp. We work our way down, we have a little bit of gloss black, and you have your LED fog lamps with functional side air curtain. Now on this SLT trim, a little bit of chrome, very nicely done, just a little splash of it, some gloss black nothing too overbearing nothing too heavy now as we come across that massive grill you are going to get a little bit of the bling bling action going on so we have our chrome around the perimeter one thing you'll notice on gmc trucks and suvs they have a unique design shape that is part of the brand signature that bright red gmc logo we have a hidden forward facing camera i like the way they hide that very nice and there's not too many slots so I think that the amount of chrome is not gonna blind you as you approach this. Now, as you work your way down, we do have some fake vent, which I am gonna zonk this. I don't know why this is all blocked off, but they bring one little extra piece of chrome. It's that cherry on top on that lower section. Now, when we go back up on the hood, you can see the beautiful body lines. I think they do a great job on the front end, especially the way the hood meets the grill, super clean. We come around the bend, what are we working with wheel and tire setup? Now remember, this is SLT trim. You can go Denali, that's the big, big top trim, but on this SLT, hand polished. I watched it done at the GMC factory. 20 inch wheel, 275 on the width, meaty 60s series sidewall. Look at how there's no flat black, no plastic, I love that. We go down the side, I'm digging the GMC badge, it's working great with our particular color, a little bit of gloss black. You got the Yukon badge, some chrome trim along the bottom. You have your SLT standard running boards. They're fixed and that's okay. With some gloss black just to say, hey, I like to have fun. I like to party. And you know what? You could, this is definitely a party wagon, so to speak. Up top, you're gonna get that nice size roof rail. I'm six feet tall. You can see the length of this. So it's like, going from one state to another as you go from the front to the back, but that's okay, because that's what this vehicle is all about. Color matched on the mirror caps, you're gonna get 360 cameras, turn singles built in, the brushed metal work, both top and bottom, the way they flare it out out back, and then as you work towards your rear, remember, underneath for the first time, we have a full independent rear suspension. We'll get to that later. The way they take the quarter window, they sink it nicely into the sheet metal, the trim is very nice. And then as we get to the back, you're gonna have a low roof spoiler. If you notice, super clean because everything is tucked up underneath the low roof spoiler. I even like the way they clear out the third brake light. Nice clear instead of that bright red. Great design on the taillights, LED of course, a little bit of splattering of chrome with that beautiful GMC badge. And as we drop down, Yukon SLT, super clean, nothing dangling down, no fake vents little bit of chrome, and of course you could tell with this SUV, but let's go ahead, let's pop the hood and see what's powering this 2021 Yukon XL. All right guys, we got the hood open. You do have hydraulic hood struts, three engine choices for 2021. The one that we have on this XL 
SLT trim is gonna be the 5.3 liter V8, 355 horsepower, 383 pound-feet of torque. It is mated to a 10-speed automatic transmission. Ours is rear-wheel drive. Of course, you could get four-wheel drive on your Yukon. Zero to 60 in about 7.4 seconds. MPG, 16 in the city, 20 on the highway. And this Yukon XL can tow up to around 8,300 pounds. Nice to have the versatility. Nice to have the variety in different trims. Remember, you could go 6.2 liter if you want more power, 420 horsepower. Or for the first time, you could get that turbo diesel straight six. But why don't we go ahead, let's get to the interior because boy oh boy, aren't there some big things in this XL Yukon that we need to check out. All right guys, we're inside the 2021 GMC Yukon extended long version SLT trim. I really think the SLT trim, no matter if you go regular Yukon or XL, really checks off so many boxes. Now I know you're probably saying to yourself, well Joe, I've been waiting years for GMC to redesign the Yukon. I think I'm ready to bite and get one of these and park it in my driveway. How much is this particular one? So XL, SLT, the way that this one is optioned is right at $66,300. Let's see what you get for the money to the door panels. All new for 2021. The stitch work is great, the dark wood, and I'm digging the gray. The gray on gray is really working for me. Soft armrest, you have two door pockets there. So you could put all the snacks in the top one, some Reese's peanut butter cups, some Snickers, maybe some M&Ms, maybe you want some Skittles. You have that choice uh, in your GMC Yukon. Now down below, you could probably fit two Jimmy John's footlong subs. You do have the Bose optional sound system, and you do have plenty of room for a large Mountain Dew to wash everything down. Now when you come to the interior, everybody gets a nice grab handle to pull yourself in. There's more of that wood faux wood trim looking good the silver i like this perforated material the stitch work glove box looks like a massive cave in there you can fill this up with just about anything close it up and here's where we got all new so new infotainment system 10.2 inch apple carplay android auto easy touch screen features easy swipe feature you can go into your climate control you can go back to home look at cameras you want cameras there we are out front with the trajectory, let's check out the wheels. Bling, bling, look at those wheels, 20 inch wheels, really liking the style. And then we just go back to home. I'll throw it into reverse real quick, show the backup camera. You got your 360 camera like I showed you when we were going around the exterior with trajectory. So it is all good there. And then like I said, real nice, easy features, clean fonts, you got your AC vents, they put them very nicely with the trim here. This is all soft touch. Look at this, this is kind of weird. So because of what's on the other side of the screen, they give you this little tiny door there. So it's a little secret door. We could only imagine what you could hide in there. But remember, secrets don't make friends. We'll close that up. The reason why there's a door over here is because we have our push-pull transmission. This is gonna control that 10 speed. Drive and reverse are both pull. Neutral and park are push, and that way it's safe. You're not gonna accidentally hit anything. Now, as we drop down, you have your radio controls, only one dead button. This used to be for uh, oil slick, which they don't allow that anymore in the United States. You do have your dual climate control, nice silver buttons, heated seats and ventilated seats. You can control your rear AC on and off, very simple. USB-C, USB, and a 12 volt and a wireless charging pad in there. I just wish there was a lid. So that is a zonk. What is not a zonk is all this great material. You got a banana pocket on each side. So if you need some potassium, that's where you can store that. Two cup holders. Here is your updated GMC key fob. Very tasteful, love the logo there. Of course, you're gonna have remote start, flat black. That's if you wanna sound a red horn. There's a red horn attachment on your GMC Yukon. No, that's the panic button. Soft material on the armrest. Open that up, you got a nice removable party tray. Seriously, if you like football, drop a pigskin in there. You can say, hey, I got a football in my Yukon USB-C and a USB, put the party tray back, and then the seats, they did a great job. The piping elevates the quality of the seat. It's crazy how a little piping will do that. Leather, stitch work, nice material all the way down. And then when you look, we got plenty of headroom in here, even with a panoramic sunroof. So that's the really wonderful thing that they're bringing. But why don't you come over to the business end? 
I want to show you behind the wheel of the 2021 Yukon XL SLT. All right, guys, business time behind the wheel. You do have two memory seat settings. I love the GMC nice aluminum sill down there. You got your seat controls, easy to get to. And then when it comes to headlight switch, easy to get to here. You got all your safety features and then steering wheel. Good thickness, nice leather. I really like the way they got the GMC uh, grill design in the horn button here, a little bit of that silver. No paddles or anything like that really, but look at the dash. Analog tack, analog speedometer, and then you have that seven inch digital display in the center that you can see all your gauges. Plus you could go through different information, which is really nice. They have it super clean, real simple, and that's all it needs to be is just a straightforward setup like that. But why don't we go ahead, you can see how much room I have here. I feel great, seats are great. Let's get to the mid row and see what the new Yukon is bringing for your passengers. All right guys, back seat time in the Yukon XL. Lots of room here. I mean, this is what's really nice. They put the AC vents up top, which is great instead of them just blowing on your knees. The seat material is wonderful. Armrests, captain's chairs, they got the thickness down perfect. You got plenty of pocket space for some more bananas, maybe a back scratcher, maybe a tennis racket. Who knows, whatever you want, you can put it in that pocket. I do like the way you have your nice AC controls and it mimics the controls up front. The only downside is only heated seats, no ventilated seats, so that's a zonk. USB-Cs and a home power source. And you got your two cup holders here, but boy oh boy, sitting here, of course, you have your ability to slide, which is great, and you have your ability to recline as well tons of space but why don't we go ahead the big talking point is back there let's check out that third row and see can a full-size human being be com comfortable back there all right guys time to get into that rear area you actually have a switch there's a couple different ways to do it you have a nice little toggle switch here one two hopefully buckle your shoe there you go three four now we're going in through the door so one two three check it out i got plenty of room back here now we do have the rear seat down which somebody um, put that seat down before we got to it. But let me go ahead. I'm actually going to bring the seat back, make Victor earn his money here. And you can see I got plenty of room. I mean, there's absolutely plenty of space back here. My knees, let me put this back down so you can see my knees. Knees are nicely bent. I got cup holders. I got little snack holders and USB-C and rear AC vents, which is awesome. But why don't we check out that cargo area? because get ready to get your mind blown on interior cargo space. Cargo time, real simple. You're just gonna go ahead, hit the button, stand back, and that massive door is gonna open. It's gonna open us to a zonk though. The one thing I don't like is there's no lip here. So when you go to the grocery store and you got all those cans of soup, or maybe you bought yourself a jackfruit or some cantaloupes, or maybe even a watermelon, if you're on an incline, there goes all your fruit and your cans a soup. They're, they're going down the road. You're going to have to run quick. That's the one thing. But what I do love with the third row, you go XL. You're getting plenty of space back here. You have another home power source. So they know that you love the tailgate, go camping, go to the beach, and then you have all your seat controls. And it's real simple to put down the seat. You're just going to push. Look how quick that folds down. I just wanted it to be perfect for you guys. You guys deserve perfection. Look at that. Rear seat row, look at all that space, and then guess what, we're going big, or we're going home, boom. That is over 144 cubic feet of space. You can live out of this Yukon XL, but let's go ahead, I don't feel like living in a Yukon XL, but I do feel like driving one. If you're ready, I'm ready. Let's take it for a spin. All right guys, we're leaving Jake Norris, Buick GMC. We're in the 2021 Yukon XL SLT trim. What I'm really loving about this Yukon is first of all, I love the redesign. I think they did a great job. Infotainment system is easy to get to, easy to see, easy to use. And you know what? You're not gonna really mind the push-pull transmission after a while. They integrate it nicely into the dash um, and it really kind of just opens up this whole area of space. Now side mirrors, great size, they look good. Plenty of visibility out the front and the back. And the seat material, very comfortable, very supportive, very smooth. That's another thing is, uh, you know, with a little bit longer wheelbase, you're gonna have such a smooth ride, that independent rear suspension, doing the business at the back end. 
and we have the 5.3 which remembers 355 horsepower you could go 6.2 and have 420 horsepower hey guys let's do an acceleration test on throttle so for a vehicle that weighs almost 6,000 pounds it does get up to speed quickly even with the 5.3 brakes work phenomenal we stop right on a dime here super smooth it's a really versatile vehicle now yes it is large and if you live in a tight area uh, or the city it may be a little cumbersome to to drive but around town here in, in Clearwater it's actually super super easy and comfortable and you got plenty of room for a football team so Tampa Bay Bucks can load up right now in here and it'd be a piece of cake to take them to their next game. Right, guys, on throttle, 10 speed drops down nice. Super smooth shifts. You're getting that V8 sound that you enjoy and that you love. Gauges, it, very easy to read. And I'm telling you, the independent suspension, the rear suspension really changes how the Yukon drives and performs. And this interior, I mean, just a couple years ago, we were dreaming that they would do something like this and they did a great job. If you don't like this style infotainment system, go Denali. They actually have a totally different integrated infotainment system that's separate from the rest of the Yukon lineup. So that's just something to think about if you aren't really loving this, but it's so easy to use, easy to see, and it feels great in here. All right, guys, hopefully this gave you a great overall view and feel of the 2021 Yukon XL. We're going to get back to Dick Norris Buick GMC and wrap this one up. So I will see you in a split second. All right, guys, another great day here at Dick Norris Buick GMC. Definitely want to thank Melvin and the rest of the crew getting us access to this 2021 Yukon XL SLT. You can see they've done their homework. They listened to you. You could have that extended use for when you're hauling around the whole school of kids or you can enjoy that interior because it's been brought to a new 21st century level and you have three different engine choices to choose from. But if it's SUVs like these that you want to keep seeing on Radius Rise, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile. Come back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radius Rise family. If you want to help us keep making great content just for you in the channel, click the link in the description. Get yourself some Radius Rise merch. Got to get it out to Crown Vic. He's loving this thing. He's thinking about how much money he could fill inside this Yukon XL. And he's it's, it's putting a big smile on his face. So thank you, Crown Vic, for all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.